Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Alford Avenue Appalachian State Mountaineers Dynasty video. Uh, this is going to be a good one today. We've got kind of like the recruiting for season two, kind of a recruiting special, uh, going over a lot of folks that are on the board, kind of explaining who we're going after, why we're going after them, and a little bit of analysis on that. Um, but yeah, it should be a good one. Um, if you enjoy videos like this, please feel free to like down below to let me know you want to see more of this stuff in the future. Um, I like to do at least one of these per season. Um, I may get a few more in as the season goes on, um, but uh, it's been good so far. We're 2-0 and on the season, beat Tennessee last week, and this is a follow-up to that game, kind of moving on throughout the season to try and show uh, who we're going to try and pick up for next year. Um, all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, it's a little bit like there's not as much action, but uh, I enjoy looking at the recruiting stuff, so that's one of the things that helps me build my teams for the future. Uh, but all that being said, thank y'all so much. Enjoy the video. See ya. So on the recruiting board, I have some like really high rated recruits that, uh, that were. So four of my friends were like watching the stream last time. And, uh, I ended up creating my friends and basically they're on the board. I've made them too good. Cause Alabama automatically signed two of them just like last week on like an a, a, there they have this uh coach perk where you can like if you give them a contract they have a chance to immediately sign and they signed two of our best players that we had created which is a bummer but it's okay um the board this year was kind of weird um in regards to recruiting from the perspective of like there were not a ton of good players but all that being said um we have needs for a halfback because uh, we've got some players graduating. Um, three of our running backs are graduating, and then the people I signed were not great. Um, last year was like a top 75 recruiting class. It wasn't awesome. I signed a bunch of JUCO guys because I like recruiting JUCO in the early years because you get better players quickly. Um, and then defensively, we need some strong safeties. Um, but I'm kind of recruiting a little bit of everything. Uh, quarterback wise Kenny Johnson he would be a huge improvement from the current quarterback and then I could switch him back to cornerback and have him play well there uh, but this guy looks good he's really fast um, we are the top school um, he's got kind of bad throwing accuracy but he's super fast to break tackles decent throwing power um, Let's see at halfback we one of our guys that we were recruiting uh was one of the dudes i created brandon uh he went to alabama um but we're recruiting jonathan arnold who is a speedster out of south carolina marion south carolina uh darrell freeman the running back another one from south carolina so app state's located in north carolina we're actually getting good uh, good traction on these dudes i would i'm surprised that we're even in the running for them at all I doubt we'll get Brad Johnson. I had just kind of added him as like a kind of throwaway thing. And I may add Andrew Porter just to get some depth here. Um, I'm going to have to update him on the board. Um, but I think we can get him. I would love to get Brad Johnson. I just, we're not, I don't think we're anywhere near. Yeah, they've all got offers out to him. Yeah, we're just, we're not getting weekly bonuses like you would want to see. Um wide receivers um i'm looking at a couple just to like fill the board a little bit to try and get some uh some scholarships on those dudes sorry some uh signings from those dudes we'll have to wait and see um they're not this guy's really fast and i'd love to have him for like a kick returner this guy's really fast but their catching ability just is like not great like 61 catch this dude's like good all around 77 catching but like he's not gonna come to us there's no way um and then this guy's just mediocre but he's fast so i'm not looking to to, to pick him up most likely uh marquise atomic is one of the guys that i created uh he's one of the he's the basis from the band um that i was talking about earlier which i don't think you were here for he's a five-star tight end recruit 6'4 242 big boy hog molly on the line we're actually doing well recruiting him um i think we can yeah i made all the next season when i create so every season at the beginning i create prospects for people who are like consistently in the stream or like people that i know well enough to actually create a player from them to like place their um position and stuff like that so i created him as a tight end hopefully he comes to us 
it looks like they're everyone who's recruiting him has uh has scholarships out to him so hopefully i'll be able to get him into a um a visit as soon as i can so that i can do a better job uh just recruiting in general <clears throat> We've got a tackle, Chauncey Richard. He's okay. I'm kind of just looking at players for depth uh, to get a recruiting class. Um, Eric Rutledge is um, is a center offensive lineman. Anytime you can get some offensive line talent is good. I believe he's a good run blocker. He's kind of well-rounded, uh, not super fast, okay strength. He'd be a good backup. Uh, defensive ends, always good to, to shore up the defensive line if you can. He's a pass rusher. I love the pass rushers on on as a defensive end. We might actually get this guy. He's a four-star talent. Um, obviously, there are other teams recruiting him, but we, we're getting a bunch of bonuses with him. Um, the bonuses we're getting for him are the playing style. We get a lot of sacks, a lot of interceptions, a lot of tackles for loss. Um, our conference prestige is not great. Um, but he's a great player just in general. Um, you can see he's pretty quick. Um, he's got good block shedding, which is important as a pass rusher. Um, he just kind of, he's a very well-rounded player. Um, yeah, this guy's definitely better. Uh, Chris Gray, he's faster, better power moves. Not as great at finesse, but he could just bowl through people. Um, big time hit power. If you've noticed on our team, our we miss a lot of our first tackles. So I'm trying to just build in a stronger defense to be able to be able to stop the, the teams that are coming against us. Um, we have some pretty decent bonuses with him and it looks like we're doing really well against Ohio State. He's also a four star. Um, he's actually rated higher as well. So I may move him up the board because he's a better player um, and uh, just better in general. Let me move him up the board because uh, I would like to pick him up. I have him at 12. I'm gonna move him to like eight and we were at left end and then i thought i had wait did he sign i think another one of the the recruits oh ben that's right okay so we'll go back to the defensive tackles looking at some good players here uh, Kevin Macklin is a Juco prospect. I believe he is a junior. Um, it does not say. He, I think he's a junior, though. But he's he's a great player out of Georgia. Um, I think, what was his focus? His focus was balance. So good run stop, good pass rushing abilities. Uh, we are leading the way on this one. Um, he's kind of slow, but he's really strong, and he's got good hit power. Um, it looks like once you're past him, though, he's not catching back up. Um, yeah, so sometimes uh, sometimes I try and find athletes if I can. Um, it just depends on... It, the, the problem is I'm Appalachian State. They're not great, so me recruiting anybody is like luck of the draw. Um, Brian Ham's also a Juco guy. I'm, I got him on the board uh, for... Uh, for depth here uh, just to kind of like get some stuff on him. I'm hoping I can sign some people uh, a little bit quickly um, so that I can redistribute some of those uh, some of those points to other players. Um, outside linebacker, uh, this guy's a decent coverage linebacker. I have, I really don't know if I should, I might... give him like 100 points just to get some points on the board because i'd like to get some signings and give him the 150 um, we're looking good on him he's super quick he jumps off the ball easily um and i believe he's a coverage guy so it looks like he'll be able to stop a lot of these passes that we need hey flannel fury how's it going Kristen? what are you doing in here thanks for hopping in and saying hello um, so another, uh, another, uh, linebacker for us, he is good. Like he's four star, but he, he was, he wasn't a bust, but he was just like, 
meh. I thought he would like improve or be worse and I could just take him off the board. But he's got good physicals. Um, he just doesn't have the best like technical abilities. Um, so I think he would just kind of be on the field. I may try and sign him if I can, but I'm not going crazy for him. Uh, James Keens, Keys has a big time uh, lead with Toledo. Uh, we should be doing well with him, but I don't know if they just have extra stuff for him. Um, sorry, babe. I wish uh, I wish I could help you out there. It's tough. It's tough sometimes, these folks. But anyways, this linebacker's super fast. Um, coverage guy. I like coverage linebackers, but I may need to go for some hard hitters because, like I said, my second level just does not hit very hard. Um, it seems like they just kind of, like, mess up a lot. But we'll see. Yeah, 3-4 would be good from the perspective of like signing these these players but in game the three four just does not defend well because so many teams run a spread offense they just spread you wide and kind of destroy you um ben jet is one of the ones that i created again probably created him a little bit too strong um but we're getting decent uh recruiting growth with him i also put these people like outside of my pipeline which was stupid i should have put them all in the pipeline so that i'd have a an advantage but whatever um, you can see he's, I created him as kind of a balanced, uh, uh, balanced corner, but also with some good coverage. I didn't give him any of like the power and finesse moves accidentally. I forgot to do that. Uh, but he would have been like crazy, like 90 rated or something like maybe like 85 rated with that. Um, but hopefully we can get him. We've got two more of the four that we created that I would love to get, um, He's decent. We don't need corners per se. Uh, he's the number 20 cornerback overall. I just, I have a lot of folks interested and would love to get uh, some great players, but the problem is um, we're just not good. And so we're, we're having trouble getting folks to commit to us. As you can see, he's super fast, really great in coverage, not super powerful, but he can hit uh, at least decently well. Um, he'd be a good one to get. Uh, strong safety. I've got some some boys that I'm looking at. Um, in general, I don't want to sign these guys because they're kind of trash. But like, if I have to, like, I'll take 50 points from this guy and just like offer a scholarship to Andy Newton so that like we have him on the board. But um, I'm leading in this kicker. He's garbage. This kicker is good. Um, you know, I may get this punter and switch him over to a kicker. It just depends. Um, I've offered scholarships to them. Now, athletes, we've got three athletes. I don't think we're gonna get Mark Sampson. He looks really damn good. Um, AJ Holmes uh, is is not very good. Um, I'll take a look at the, the recruits so that you can kind of see in general the types of recruits they've got. This guy looks like uh, a quarterback and could be, he have break tackle, ball carry. He could be a running back as well, just from his but he, he doesn't look like a two-way player. Uh, Mark Sampson's incredible. He'd be, he's a scrambling quarterback, um, but he also is a wide receiver, potentially. Um, and then Steven Tyree uh, looks like he's a, he's a scrambling quarterback as well who can also play wide receiver. So he'd be a good pickup uh, in regards to those two things. Uh, but if we take a look at like just athletes in general, th the recruiting class like really drops off like once you get past the top 100 like it really starts to drop off in talent and in skill um and just in regards to people who are interested now this guy no one's recruiting him i might could get him um you know there are players that if i went back and looked at um if I looked at their interest or their lock percentage, I'd be able to, to get some from, from that perspective. Uh, but let's see like folks who are interested in us. There's only three athletes that are interested in us and that's because I added them. Um, but like this guy, 74 overall, I'll add him to the board because he looks decent. Um, let's see what sort of skills he's got. So he looks kind of like a coverage guy. Can't see, he doesn't look very good. He's kind of trash. Like, what does he do? This makes me makes me think that he's not good at much of anything. 
Like to me, he's a waste of a he's a waste of a prospect. So this guy be like a running back, and maybe a wide receiver. This guy's quick. He's a quarterback, scrambling quarterback. This guy is a running back, maybe, but he's not very good, you know? This guy, 6'3", 237. See, to me, like, that's too small to be O-line. Like, you want an O-lineman to be, like, 250, 260. Um, plus, you don't really see his block in here. Um, yeah, just kind of a weird, weird class. This class was like significantly less good than, um, than the last class. But all that being said, you know, we've got a couple weeks that we can sim through because they're bye weeks. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to, I don't know if I'm going to play a second game tonight. I, I have some editing that I have to do. Um, but getting a big win with Tennessee, I think is going to set us up for a successful um, for a successful season, I think it may even put us. I need to check the. Uh, I need to check like the the player of the week stuff too. I didn't. I didn't look at that. I'll go back and look at uh, week two player of the week and see if we got any recognition for our play there. Um, cool. Offensive coordinator leveled up. Awesome. Two players are ready to. Do this. I would love to get them done and over with, uh, and out of the way. Ready for. I don't know what benefit that does for anybody, but uh, no. So I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then I upload videos on Mondays and Fridays. So you can go back and watch like the uh, the dynasty up to this point on my YouTube channel, which you're on currently. But uh, I have um... hello, Gavin. Um, I I'm doing a lot tomorrow, so I gotta I gotta edit tonight and get some stuff taken care of for uh, for that. All right, I'm gonna. Man, we're so far behind on these guys. I don't think we're gonna get Ben. We're falling way behind on him. Um, sometimes, um, it really has to be that type of weekend. I've been busy over March and April are really busy for us. Um, uh, but going forward, I'll probably I'll, I'll try and do like a Saturday stream. Uh, Sundays, I I take a lot of I I play soccer and then I also take time to edit on those days because of the, um. I, I release content on Mondays, so, um, I mean, there's, I, I can't do anything, like, with, like, I can't increase this anymore, so it's, like, I, I have to upgrade my, my, my coach to be able to get certain recruiting, uh, skills so that I can get, do a better job of getting recruits, so, like, I need to be able to do the kitchen sink ones so that I can give them extra points every week. And then I also need to do the, um, so the letter of intent one is great. This one is great for the pipeline stuff. I'm gonna have to get this. I need to level up bad to get this one so that I can have the same amount of recruiting points uh, in weeks, uh, what is it, eight through, eight through 15 and really, it's just tough, man, because I set I, I, I set my um, coach leveling too low, I think. You need to set it to fast, but it is what it is. Um, is there anything that gives me speed? Speed would be sick. Um... feel that gavin it does take a lot of time 
I need better catching because my tight ends have been dropping everything. Um, and I don't pass the ball much anymore, but when I do pass, it'll be super helpful to, to have them be able to catch. Dude, Tennessee. So they lost to us and then they beat Tennessee. So by, you know, by the, by the transitive property, we beat Oklahoma because we beat Tennessee, you know, you know, you know. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at championship contenders to see. Look, we're ranked 36th. We are close to a top 25 team. If we can string together some wins. My goal this season, my goal this season is to top our division and go play in the conference championship. I would love to win the championship, but I just don't think we have the talent for it this year. Um, UCF is too good, which they've got a loss too. Um, I think... Cincinnati is too good. They're not ranked, I don't believe. But we've got too many good teams in our conference that would prevent us, in my opinion. Uh, no, I didn't add the 12-team playoff. You can add that, but it I, I was afraid it would like crash my computer, so I left it off. But yeah, dude, overall, we're... Dude, that 2017 class is not good. That recruit class is bad. But we look good. Uh, let's go to players of the week and check in. We'll check week one and week two. Okay, so we did not get that. Week two, we did not get that. All right, let's check uh, the American Conference. We did not get that. Yeah, David Joseph, 12 for 17, 147 yards passing, 17 carries, and 125 yards rushing with four total touchdowns. I believe he had three rushing and one uh, passing touchdown. That's pretty big. We like that. Yeah, I think in a couple of years, uh, it'll it'll. Are you talking about the t the twelve team playoff? It'll be a couple of years. Or are you talking about the team will be good in a couple of years? I don't think we're in the running for the Heisman at all. Um, but yeah, if you look at our conference, we just are not the best team in the conference. But dude, Houston is having a bad season. Yeah, yeah. They're losing it easy teams in those hopefully i can beat them that's gonna give me hope and i'm just gonna get shit and pissed on um but yeah you can see that they're just a lot better than us overall um cincinnati's closer to us houston's nuts that's crazy i picked like the worst team but i mean that's kind of the point i like i like picking the bad teams and winning with them and taking them as far as i can um i'm gonna go ahead and advance the week Actually, let me... I'll let them add prospects, but I... Uh, I don't want them to remove, though. I need to add two more recruits to the board. Um, let's do... See if there's any decent... White, white looks good. Then I'm going to do... So I need a running back pretty bad. Uh, so I ended up... I got... Where'd it go? Yeah, I put Wesley on there. I didn't see Jackson. Um, but yeah, I, we love Juco guys. We might actually get him. Having some good running backs will be a lot of fun. One thing that I do in recruiting um, is I look for Juco players like this. Well, that guy's not a Juco. But uh, you can look at their like at their rating or whatever, and as you're tapping down, you can like you see it jump, which that's that guy's four star. Uh, let me do it this way. I'll do it by rank. But, like if you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I go fast for this. Um, so if you if you're tapping down like this, you can watch the overall. Like it'll jump all of a sudden once you get into like lower star ratings. Like even that 64. Uh, where'd he go? Yeah, so when it jumps like that, you can typically see, like, this is a Juco player. Um, but even the Juco players are bad this season. Um, 64, you saw how that jumped all of a sudden. Which I could look at him, but he doesn't look any good. Um, yeah. I think that'll be it for now on the, um, I might play a second game. I always fall into that trap of like, oh, I got a big win. I'm going to play a second game. And then I get like absolutely pooped on. Two weeks off is a long time. Cool. Quarterback's ready to visit, and a punter is ready to visit. Kenny Johnson, visit versus a rival. Heck yeah, we love that. Got some XP there. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the guys who are set to visit. Kind of falling behind with, oh, with Ben and with Marquise. That bums me out. Okay. We're probably not going to get Ben, which is kind of a bummer. Dude, this guy might... This guy might... He's so short, though. Holy shit. Um... Damn. Okay, whatever. Um. They already set up visits for other people? I guess I have it set to automatically do visit scheduling. Interesting. Cool. I want to see our top school status. Okay. Oh, his is scheduled. Oh, God. Okay. We could win some of these battles. Probably not going to win that one. Ooh. Oh god, definitely not winning that one. Probably not winning that one. Definitely not winning that one. Definitely not winning that one. Interesting. Okay. Thank you all again for joining me for another Appalachian State Dynasty video. This has been a recruiting special. I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you guys got some good insight into the targets for this season and kind of have an idea of the direction we're trying to take the team. Um, we have a lot to build on. We're not great, but we have a, a new quarterback who I think can uh, lead the team a little bit better. So trying to get some tools around him to make us more successful uh, is definitely the plan for the season, whether it be offensive linemen or wide receivers, running backs, whatever. Uh, we're trying to build an arsenal of weapons around him to try and be successful um, next year if we're not successful this year. All that being said, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for all of the recent views, all of the likes y'all have put on this, as well as uh, folks who have subscribed to the channel. Um, if you do enjoy the content, please feel free to leave a like down below. And if you want to see more in the future, subscribe to the channel, leave that notification bell on so you know when my videos go live. I hope you guys continue to enjoy the dynasty. Y'all have a good one. See ya!